All righty. We are going to warm up first. So the first thing I did for my warm up is a straight leg run. So if you watch carefully, my, you're like running in place, but you're kicking your feet out in front of you with straight legs. Are you ready? Go. Oh. Come on, Taylor, move your body. Put your hands on your hips. Now I want you to try to kick those legs straight out in front of you. Apple. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, you're almost done. All right, the next thing you're going to do is butt kicks. So kick your booty. Keep going, even though I'm paused, you keep going. Really kick those booties, kick those heels up. All right, next we're gonna do is we're gonna skip in place. So you can pump your arms or I have my hands on my hips and you can do it that way too. Skip, skip, skip. You can do it either way. You can swing those arms or you can put them on your hips. Skip, skip, skip. That's really good. Those knees up. Next, we're going to hop on one foot, and I want big hops on one foot. I see how big you can jump on one foot. I'll tell you when to switch, so you keep doing that foot until I say switch. All right, go ahead and switch and do your other foot. Really push to those toes. It hurts. It hurts. It's not supposed to hurt. It's supposed to warm you up. All right, next we're going to do kicks. So you can just face me with your hands on your hips, and we're going to do five on each leg. <coughs> Are you ready? I don't care which leg you start with. You're kicking forward, though. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Switch into your other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Next, you're going to kick out to the side. And when you kick out to the side, I want you to make sure your knee faces the ceiling, okay? Ready? Hands on your hips. Stand up nice and tall. And I want you to press those shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And do your other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then we're going to kick backwards. And you can stay facing me. I just turned sideways so that you can see my legs. I want you to try to keep that chest up nice and tall. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five. Awesome. And now do your other leg. One, two, three. Keep those chests up. Four, five. Good. And the next thing we're going to do is split jumps. So we just warmed up those kicks. We're going to do five split jumps. And you can do them on your own. I want to see five good split jumps. And I want you to stop, sign, and finish each one. I don't want to see you rush through them, okay? I want to see nice big split jumps with a stop sign and a finish. Good job. Good. 
after you do five, if you're not done, that's fine. Finish up. You're going to do straddle jumps because we just warmed those kicks up to the side too. So we're going to do five straddle jumps. So your legs go out to the side and land back in front of you. Out to the side and back together. And I want to see the stop sign in that too, okay? Good job. Good, Taylor. All right, did we do all five? Yeah. Are we warmed up enough? Yes. I think we can stretch now? Yes. All right, stand up on your feet because we're going to do arm circles first. Arm circles backwards. And forwards. You're going to swing them to the side. Try to keep your hips forward and twist your back so that your back's stretching. Yep. And then you're going to cross your arms like scissors in front of you. Yep. Then you're going to hold your arm and stretch. So pull your arm across to you and hold. Good. And switch. Good. And when you switch, you're going to pull your elbow above your head. Yep, stretch behind you. And then switch, and you're going to pull on your other elbow. There you go, Taylor. Good job. All right, stretch tall and reach down to one side. <laughs> Straight legs, reach as far as you can, keeping those legs straight. Reach up and go down to the other side. And reach up and down to the middle. Reach as far as you can, keeping those legs straight. It's okay if it's not all the way to the floor. Most importantly, just push through the backs of those knees. Good. Reach up tall. Put those feet together. And touch your toes or as far as you can with those legs staying straight. Awesome. Stand up tall again, and you're going to cross your arms, and I want you to try to make your elbows touch your toes. This one's tricky. See, I can only go to about my knees. But I want you to reach as far as you can, keeping those legs straight, trying to get those elbows to the floor. All right. Go ahead and sit on your bottom and straddle. Reach up nice and tall. Perfect. And we're actually going to go one arm over. So one arm on your belly, reach the other one all the way over your head. And you should try to get your ear to your knee. Point those feet, nice straight legs. Our knees still face the ceiling. Good. And go ahead and switch. Other arm on your belly and reach all the way over your head. And then you're going to pancake. So your arms are going to go out to the side. And your goal should be to get your belly on the floor. I'm not quite that flexible. But reach as far as you can with your belly. I want you to try to reach with your belly button. I'm used to that too one, but this one's hard. I, I think it's hard too. It's okay. All right. Go ahead and put your feet together in pike. Reach up nice and tall. And reach for those toes. Now I want you to put your nose to your knees. So look for your knees. Good. Reach up nice and tall. 
and flex your toes and try to pull your heels off the floor. Still try to keep those legs straight. Good, and butterfly. And I want you to push your knees to the floor. So push really hard, try to get those knees to the floor. And go ahead and roll an ankle. So you're gonna sit kind of in pike, cross one. There you go, good job. And roll. And switch and roll your other ankle. And we're gonna do Hollywood. So you're gonna cross one leg over and I switch arms, Taylor. Same leg, there you go, good job. Good, and go ahead and switch. You should feel it stretching in your back. And we're gonna go up on our hands and knees and we're gonna rock back and forth. Stretch those wrists out. Good, fingers out to the side and rock in a circle. Good, fingers towards your knees. Rock back and forth. And flip them upside down and wiggle your fingers and make a fist. Wiggle your fingers and make a fist and then cat stretch. Really push those armpits into the floor. And seal stretch. Keep your feet together, look for the ceiling. And cat stretch. Seal stretch one more time. And you can try to touch your toes to your head. And then we're gonna do our bridges. So go ahead and lay down when you're ready. All right, go ahead and push up. Now I want you to try to push those legs straight. I'll tell you when to come down. And come down and rock three times. And go ahead and push back up. And this time you're gonna lift an arm. Good, and come down and rock. And one more. Go ahead and push up. And you're gonna lift your favorite leg this time. And I want you to try to make that leg straight. Good, and come down and rock. So for today's skill work, I did beam stuff. And I don't have a beam at home, so I did mine on a piece of tape. I made a beam out of tape. So you can put tape on your floor, kind of like the width of a beam if you don't have one, or you can just work in a straight line. If you have a beam, you can bring your beam out and do it on the beam. Whatever works for you in your home. Thank you. Now I'm fitting my beam. That's fine. 
I don't have a beam at home, so I just used painter's tape and made a line for me to work with, and that works too. That's good. That's good. Don't get too comfortable. Be good. All right, are we ready? Okay, so the first thing you're going to do on your beam is stand up on your feet. And we're going to walk forwards. And my beam is not that long, but I want you to walk the full length of the beam that you have, okay? And you're going to walk on your tippy toes, hands on your hips, all the way to the end of your beam. And I want your chin up, looking for the end of your beam with your eyes. And when you get to the end, stay on top of your beam, okay? Don't hop down yet. Yep, and you're going to do a pivot turn, and you're going to walk forwards back. You're going to walk forwards down and back. Staying on top of your beam, and then you're going to walk backwards. And if you can, I would like these to be on your tippy toes. And then when you get to the end of your beam, you can pivot again and walk backwards on the way back. Stay nice and tall. Keep everything nice and tight. Good, Taylor. Good job. After you walk backwards, down and back, the next thing we're gonna do is walk sideways. So if you wait just a second, my video will switch over. When you walk sideways, I want you to reach really far with that foot that's leading. So you're going to reach and step, reach and step. And then when you get to the end of your beam, walk back and reach with the other foot. Let your other foot lead on the way back. Good. And if you need a little bit more of a challenge, go up on your tippy toes. Good job. Really reach with those toes. Squeeze. Stand up nice and tall. Keep everything straight on top of your beam. Good, and the next thing, once you get to the end of your beam, you're gonna bunny hop, and I want you to push through your toes, hands on your hips, and hop with your feet. Oh, I passe kicked, I lied. I want you to bunny hop though, we'll passe kick after. Yep, push through your toes all the way to the end of your beam. Good job. And when you get to the end, go ahead and turn around and hop back. Good. Really push through those ankles. Good. 
Good. Now we're going to passe kick. So I want you to bring that foot up to your knee, kick and step. Foot up to your knee, kick and step. When you get to the end, give it a turn and do it on your way back. I want to see the actual kick after your passe so it doesn't look like we're quite marching. Passe, kick, step. Much better. Good job, Courtney. Good. Next. There's my bunny hops. I did them backwards. So skip because we already did bunny hops. After bunny hops, we're going to do, so you can go to the middle of your beam for this, because you're just going to do five of these. So you're going to prep like you're going to do a full turn. So you're going to lunge, hold, then passe, hold, just a couple seconds. So like lunge, one, two, passe, one, two, and then step forward and finish and hold your finish for two or three seconds. Okay, so we're just breaking down the parts of our full turn. I want you to do five of those, okay? You need to see it again. So you're gonna start in a lunge like you're about to do a turn, but you're not doing the turn. So Taylor, face me. Can you show me your lunge? Yep. And then you're gonna go up like you're doing a passe, like you're just about to do the kick we just did. Yep. And can you bring your arms in front of you like you're holding a beach ball? Perfect. And then you're going to step forward with that foot and press your arms down by your side. Good. You don't even have to turn. You just have to do five of those. So lunge, passe, hold, step forward, and finish. Perfect. Lunge, passe, hold, and step forward, and finish. Taylor, did you do all five? Yeah. Good. Courtney, are you done? Yeah. Okay, next we're going to do half turns. So you're going to start the same way in your lunge. I think this might be another passe. Yep. So my next one will show it if you don't know what a half turn is. So you're going to start in your lunge, lift to your passe, turn, and step forward and finish. So you're going to be facing the other way. Good job. That was it. Taylor, you just want to face that wall behind you when you finish. Good. And you're going to step forward with that foot that goes up on your knee. Good job, I want five. Have we done five? No, I need two more. Okay, take your time. Good, I liked that one, Taylor. Good job. Now we're going to try full turns. So you're going to try to make a full circle on your beam. You're going to start in your lunge still. And you're going to try to spin all the way around and step forward onto your beam. Think we can do it? That's it, Taylor. Good job, Courtney. Press those arms down when you step forward. Full turns are tricky. You have to stay on your toe the whole time you try to turn. Try five. 
Good. Control our arms when we turn. We don't want them flapping all over the place. Did we both do five? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay, next we're going to do levers. So I'm doing one more full turn here. For your levers, you start in your lunge. Make sure you have your butterfly hands on your beam. And I want five on both legs. So five on your good leg and then five on your opposite leg. Trying to stand up in that lunge. And when you stand up, you can drop your arms in front too, just like I am in my video right here. You can stand up in a stop sign almost. Good, very nice. Do both legs. So once you do your good leg, go ahead and switch to your opposite leg. We land our cartwheels in our opposite lunge, so we need to practice stepping down in this lunge. Very nice. Good. Next, we're going to try handstands. So if you can try a full handstand or a baby handstand, and I do both in my video. So kick is hot. Well, that's a lunge still, or a lever. Let me just skip forward a little bit. You can kick up as high as you can, make your toes touch, and land back on your beam. And it can be a little baby handstand, too. Yep, so I want you to try to make your toes touch, and then they're going to touch at the top and then split back together to step down on your beam. Squeeze your booties. Even if it's just a little half handstand, that's okay, but I want to see our toes trying to touch at the top. Good job. Stand up with those arms either on your ears or in front of you. Taylor, that was a good one, Courtney. I'm very impressed. Good job. These look awesome. That worked. <laughs> I do not want to do this. All right. Next, was that five? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. five. Okay. Next, we're gonna do forward rolls. So when you do your forward rolls, I want both feet on your beam. So our feet are actually going to be on our beam. And I want you to spread your knees out to the side like a butterfly. And you're going to reach between your legs. Reach as far as you can, holding on to your beam. And then you're going to stick your head in the hole and roll. And you're going to land in a straddle. So the beam should be between your legs and you should be on your booty. So, Taylor, get on your feet. Yep. There you go. Reach as far as you can and then stick your head in between your arms in the hole. And then push your booty over your head. Push, push, push. Look for your belly button. Are you nervous? <laughs> There you go. Good job. And you can straddle your legs and sit up on your beam. I want five of them. Good, Courtney. Are you landing on the beam over there? Yeah. Good. I'm right here to catch you if you want. Good job. That's it. You're doing it. The scariest part is getting your butt over your head. 
Push Taylor, you got it. cartwheels on our beam. So I didn't actually cartwheel my video because I would have kicked my couch. But we all know what a cartwheel is. So you're going to start in your lunge. Reach up nice and tall. Your fingers are going to go sideways on your beam. So your hands go sideways. Make sure your fingers face the foot that's in front. And try to land in your opposite lunge. I want five tries. And your goal should be to try to get at least one foot to touch the other one. Yeah. Good, Courtney. Get those feet over your head. Good. Use that lunge. Lunge, lunge. Use those lunge. These cartwheels on beam can be a little slower than how we would do them on floor because we want to have control of our legs and our landing. And if you try to look on the inside of your armpit through your arm, you should be able to see your feet step down onto the beam. Good, Taylor. Good, Courtney. Really push into that lunge. You're pushing out of that front leg. Keep that front leg bent and push your weight into the beam. There you go. Was that five? Five, ten. All right, next we're going to do tuck jumps on our beam. Good. Yep, I want those knees to come up to your belly. Make sure we're not kicking our booty. And we're holding our stop sign. I want to see us hold our stop sign before we move into the next one. I want five good tuck jumps. Good. Make sure those knees are coming to our belly and we're not kicking our booty. After you do five tuck jumps, go ahead and do five split jumps, just like we did for warm-up. But I want us to try to do our split jumps on the beam. That's a straddle jump, but that was a very nice straddle jump. I want you to kick forwards and backwards. Take one leg, there you go. Good job, Courtney. After those five, we are going to position. Yep, so we're gonna start with push up. I want 15 push-ups. Do what? Good push-ups. Nose touches the floor and all the way back up. How many? Flat. 
Those arms are doing the work. Good. When you're done with your push ups, stand up on your feet. And we're going to do squats. So your hands can go in front of you when you squat, or they can go on your hips too. And I want, let's do 15 squats too. Good squats, make sure your toes are facing me. And chest up tall, I don't want us to fold in half when we squat. Small, like you're sitting in a chair. Good, five more. You have 15. Good, and next we have calf raisers. And I want us to do 30 calf raises. So you're going to lift all the way up on your toes and set your feet back on the floor. All the way up and back down. And these are slow and controlled. And I want to see us bouncing. Thirty of them. Three, zero. John, you should feel your legs starting to burn. How many more do you got, Taylor? All right. Perfect. Next, we're going to do hollow body. So you can go ahead and sit down on your bottoms. And you're going to hold like this. So your shoulders up off the floor, your feet up off the floor. We need to time you. We're going to do it for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Lift and hold. You should feel your belly muscles. And almost done. Okay. And next, we're going to do a superman hold, so roll to your belly. Roll over, and you're going to lift your feet arms off the floor and lift and hold. Arms up on your ears, Taylor. Good. Go ahead and go. There you go. Good, and come on out, and we are going to do quick splits today. So go ahead and stretch those legs for splits. 
Stretch both legs. Stretch all your legs, however you want to stretch them. I am good with. All right, are we ready to slide down? Yeah. Okay, put your favorite foot in front. And then slide down, one hand on each side. They're going to be super quick splits today, like 30 seconds each leg. Point the front knee to face the ceiling. Awesome job. Come out, put your other foot in front. And slide down. Try to get that leg straight. And I want you to think about trying to make your back pinky toe touch the floor. Good job. Down as far as you can. Awesome, and come on out and slide into your middle splits as far as you can. And I want your elbows on the floor or your belly. Good job. And come on out. All righty. That's all I had. What do you think? Is it a good workout? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you next week. Good job. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.